Hello everybody, Dave Monahan here once again with Goodson Tools and Supplies and uh, today I'd like to tell you about our DWA 300. This is our adjustable counterboard kit. When it comes to the interference fit for the different seat rings you're putting in, whether it be a metric application or, or the more popular diesel applications that are coming through the machine shop right now, having a fixed counterbore on your tool board is not always uh, immediately available. Uh, yes, we do. We still offer the fixed uh, counterbore cutters, but the adjustable counterbore cutter is gaining a lot of popularity. Diesel seats are, are 5, 10, 20, and 30 over. Metric seats have a metric uh, interference, uh, unlike uh, our thousandths of an inch here in North America. But uh, we've had this DWA 300 in the product line for many, many years. I actually took it out because I thought everybody in the world had already purchased uh, this unit, DWA 300. And uh, when I took it out of the catalog, well, you all let me know that that was a huge mistake that I had made. So we fired back up again. We are now manufacturing them, and we're pleased to re-offer it here in 2021 in the new catalog. It's, uh, it's an adjustable counterboard kit. Like I said, it has a range, the standard kit, uh, 1.250 up through 2 inch. We do uh, make mandrels uh, that'll take you up to 2.750, 2 and 3 quarters. And uh, you would run, use your existing pilots, you would use your existing drive tools because they always have, you know, the uh, channel drive there. That has a 9 16 uh, arbor hole in it. But the real thing I want you to take away from these adjustable mandrels is we took a different twist on how to securely hold uh, the cutters in place once we've made uh, the particular uh, adjustment. This micrometer gives us high end accuracy. It's a direct reading a micrometer setting fixture. We've got your setting standard here. We utilize this dial indicator so we can check the radius of the counterbore to make sure that we've set diameter here, but we wanna make sure that the radius does not exceed at that diameter, and that's why we put that dial indicator in the equation. Once we get everything set, we've got to hold it in place because guess what? You're going to uh, bore through uh, cast iron. You're going to be uh, counter boring hard steel um, uh, inserts and aluminum heads. And um, uh, we need to have this thing held in position once we've gone through that meticulous uh, setting process. And uh, as I mentioned, this is an indexable cutter. In other words, when this cutter here gets uh, chipped or worn, we can undo this set screw, rotate this thing 90 degrees, expose a new edge, and we're back in the business of counter bore cutting. But the unique positions we took on uh, the design of this uh, uh, counter bore cutter many years ago was the way we hold the cutters in place. I've got two positions. I've got a, a vertical position coming straight down to hold that cutter in place, and then I also have a horizontal set screw coming in from the side. So these two pressures coming together horizontally and vertically securely accurately maintain that um, that position so when you're counter your um, uh, your cylinder heads you don't have to worry about going oversized or undersized this is our dwa 300 we're very proud to offer to you our valued customers again thank you